we continue with our uh, series of uh, studies in the book of uh, Job. I believe this is our uh, third or fourth Now let us be uh, to serve as a background to, to us. Let us uh, try to review. Balikan po natin ano na ba ang ating mga natutunan, ano na ba ang ating naunawaan so far. <clears throat> natutunan po natin that in a matter of two days, I don't know if these days are cons two consecutive days or not, but in a matter of two days, Job lost everything. Sa loob po ng dalawa lamang na araw ay nawala ang lahat kay Hope. He lost his property. He lost his dear children. And he lost his health. It pleased the Lord to allow him to go through the most difficult circumstances that we could imagine. Sobrang difficult nito, sobrang hirap nito na yung wife ni Job ay nagsabi sa kanya because the, the, the difficulty was so unbearable, his wife told him, why don't you just curse God and die? Hayaan na nating matapos ito. Isumpa mo ang Diyos. Bakit naniniwala ka pa rin sa Kanya? Bakit sumasampalataya ka pa rin sa Kanya? Bakit umaasa ka pa rin sa Kanya? Why do you still hope in Him? Why do you still trust Him? Why do you still believe that He is a good God? He took away everything. Everything that is dear to us. Curse God and die. Mahalaga po mga kapatid na sa pagkakataong ito ay mapaalalahanan tayo ng ilang mga bagay before we go to our text. Let us be reminded, let us consider in light of this summary, in light of this background that I have given you, let us consider some important points from Hebrews chapter 12. So mark your place in Job And go with me for a while to Hebrews chapter 12. Verse 5, beginning verse 5. And ye have forgotten the exhortation which speaketh unto you as unto children. My son, despise not thou the chastening of the Lord nor faint when thou art rebuke of him. For whom the Lord loveth, he chasteneth and scourgeth every son whom he receiveth. If ye endure chastening, God dealeth with you as with sons. Don't we ever, ever forget that? The Lord is dealing with us as a loving, caring, good, heavenly Father. Because the tendency is for us to forget because of the difficulty that we are going through. That this is coming from an all-wise God, all-powerful God. This is not a question of His inability to take us away from our situation. Again, verse 6, For whom the Lord loveth, He chasteneth and scourgeth every son whom He receiveth. If ye endure chastening, God dealeth with you as with sons. For what son is he whom the Father chasteneth not? For if ye be without chasten chastisement, whereof all are partakers, all of God 
God's children go through training and discipline. And so don't count it as something that is new and foreign. Kung, it, kung ikaw ay anak ng Diyos, kung ikaw ay naglagak ng pananampalataya sa Kanya, huwag kang mabigla kung niluluob ng Ama natin sa langit na dumaang ka sa mga sirkumstansya sa madalas ay mabibigat na mga sirkumstansya sapagkat lahat ng mga anak ng Diyos ay sumasa ilalim ng Kanyang pagtuturo, pagpapaalala. If ye endure chastening, God dealeth with you as with son. For what son is he whom the father chasteneth not? But if ye be without chastisement, whereof all are partakers, then are ye bastards and not sons. Furthermore, we have had fathers of our flesh which corrected us. And so this is not something that is new to us. Alam natin nga sa karanasan, kung magulang ka, alam mo na para mapanuto ang iyong anak, kailangan mo siyang idaan sa pagtutuwid. Isang masamang magulang ang hindi idinadaan sa pagtutuwid ang kanyang anak. Hindi mabuting magulang ang ayaw idaan sa disiplina ang kanyang anak. At kung ikaw naman ay anak, aariin mo na gawat ng kabutihan ng gagaling sa isang Uh, nagmamalasakit na kamay ang pagtutuwid. And so we are no strangers to discipline. Especially if we are good parents. Especially if you have good parents. And wise. <clears throat> verse 10 oh, let me go back to the latter part of verse 9 shall we not much rather be in subjection unto the father of spirits and live for they verily for a few days chastened us after their own pleasure But he for our prophet that we might be partakers of his holiness. Now no chastening for the present seemeth to be joyous, but grievous. Nevertheless, afterward it yielded the peaceable fruit of righteousness unto them which are exercised thereby. So two things. Number one, do not despise according to our passage. Do not despise or make light of our discipline. Asabi sa the Message Bible, my dear child, don't shrug off God's discipline, but don't be crushed by it either. So may dalawang tendensiya. You either despise it or make light out of it or make it light or consider it nothing. On the other hand, we may faint. We may crush by it. We may uh, uh, give up. So parehong mali, we cannot learn. Remember, the purpose is our learning. The purpose of discipline is our learning, our training. The goal is righteousness. The goal is Christ-likeness. We cannot learn from it if we make it light. Ay, talaga, what can we do? Ano, lahat naman nararanasan yan. So might as well endure it. 
and then hope, hope that it would end. Wala na. Ano natutunan natin kung gano'n ang ating attitude towards uh, the Lord's discipline? On the other hand, kung if you keep on murmuring, kung magpapatuloy kang magre-reklamo at magsasabi, this should not have happened to me. Not to me. It's unfair. I don't deserve this. So on and so forth. You won't learn from it either. Wala kang matutunan doon kung wala kang gagawin, kundi sisisihin mo ang sarili mo, sisisihin mo ang paligid mo, sisisihin mo ang Diyos. Again, God is educating you. That's why you must never drop out. I'm still reading from the Message Bible. That the not so inspired version, amen. But I like uh, its rendition. God is educating you. By the way, it's a joke, di ba? Chinek naman natin yan, ano? God is educating you. That's why you must never drop out. He's treating you as dear children. The trouble you you are in isn't punishment. It is. It's training. The normal experience of children. Amen? You know what? Mapapahiya tayo sa totoo lang. Huh? If, if, if Job had a Facebook, and if he were able to read our update, Kung papaano mo sinasabi, you know, I give up because I have fever. I mean, sobrang ang bigat-bigat ng dinadaanan ko because, you know, my final examination is, is, is just, you know, torture. It is inhumane. Amen, uh, Macho? Where is Macho? Tinanong ko siya kanina kung... Uh, Marami sa inyo nag-post. Uh, I'm still hanging. Hanging on. Uh, naka, Nakaano pa rin. Amen? If, especially those who are, you know, working on their thesis. Amen? <laughs> Alam ninyo, kung mababasa yun ni Joe, sasabihin niya, ano pa naman kayo? Yung dinataanan niyo, kung ikukumpara sa dinaanan ko, Ngunit ako'y pinagpagtagumpay ng Diyos. Again, he lost everything. And yet, uh, by God's grace, he was still able to say, The Lord gave, the Lord takes away. Worship, praise, blessed be the name of the Lord. And here we are, full of murmurings. Remember, suffering, don't think about what God is keeping from you. That is, for example, comfort, health. Sometimes the focus is are on those things. See, nandun tayo nakatuon. Uh, the focus is, uh, is on on. on Uh, your health problem, your financial problem, wag doon. Why? Mayroong better choice. How about thinking about what God is keeping you from? Wag mong pagtuunan ng pansin kung ano yung tila baga ipinagkakait sa'yo ng Diyos. Ang pagtuunan mo ng pansin ay kung saan ka inilalayo ng Diyos. Have you ever, did it, did, it, did, it, did it ever occur to our minds that maybe we are becoming more and more proudful? That's why we need some reminders 
remindings. Ang problema mga kapatid, hindi siya madaling makita natin. It is not very easy for us to see our heart's condition. Why? Because the heart is deceitful and desperately wicked. Who can know it? Hindi mo madaling makita ang sarili mong, ang sarili nating mga kapintasan, ang sarili nating mga kahinaan. Kaya ang Diyos ang siya nagtutuwid sa atin, ang Diyos ang siya tumatawag ng ating pansin, baka lumalayo ka na sa Kanya. You keep on denying it, but you are already drifting away from Him. You are already wandering away from Him. Can you celebrate God's sustaining grace? That is keeping you near Him. Pwede mo bang tignan siya na ganun? Pwede mo bang tanawin na yung ipinadadaan sa iyo ng Diyos ay paraan niya, yakap niya, para niya sasabihin, ayaw kong lumayo ka sa akin dahil mahal kita. I love you. That's why I'm doing this to you. Do you remember the joke? The child that is being... Disciplined by his parent. Father, don't love me too much. Love me, but don't love me too much. May dalawang posibleng responses dito. Pagka dumadaan ka sa kabigatan, you know, again, ano ba ang end goal? Ano ba ang ultimate purpose ng lahat ng bagay? Palagay ko, madali nating masasagot yan. Amen? The chief end of man is to glorify God and enjoy Him forever. Of Him, through Him, to Him are all things to whom be glory forever. Amen. Thou art worthy. Diba? Of His pleasure. <clears throat> we are and were created. Of His pleasure. Bless you. Amen. Whether therefore you eat or drink, do all to the glory of God. So, hindi mahirap hanapin ang dahilan bakit ka umiiral. You exist, I exist, ultimately, for the glory of God. Tanggap mo ba yun? Oh, mga kapatid, tanggapin naman natin at hindi determinato ang Diyos na tumanggap ng kaluwalatian sa mga buhay natin. The first possible response would be, I don't know. But my Lord, you know. Yun lang sa sarili niya. That in itself. You know? By being patient in the midst of your difficulty. You don't even know ni hindi mo alam ano? kung makakalagpas ka doon. You don't even know there is no, you, there is no assurance that God would 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 answer your prayer mabigat yung dinadaanan mo nawawalan ka ng pag-asa pero sa gitna noon in the midst of all of those uncertainties for you to be able to say my lord You know. I submit to you. I surrender to your sovereign will. I surrender to your infinite wisdom. I acknowledge that you are infinitely good in the midst of my unpleasant situation. That's one good option that you could choose. On the other hand, ito yung mas malungko. I know better. 
I know what should have happened. Dear God, you are doing a lousy job with everything that you have. I mean, oh, sacrilegious na yun eh. We may not verbalize it, but in our hearts, merong struggle. And by the way, again, let us be reminded God can take all of the questions you have in your heart. Lahat ng pag-aalinlangan mo, ibato mo sa palalangin sa Diyos. Open your heart to God. But don't be tempted to believe that you know better than God. That you are wiser than God. Oh, be it far from us, brethren. That's why we need these circumstances. Kasi nga, yun yung pag-iisip na mayroon tayo. Amen. So mahalaga ang reminder ito, no? before we go to our, uh, to our uh, passage. Ang mga halaga-halaga ng mga kaibigan, di ba? Klishe na. No man is an island. So mahalaga ang kaibigan. Pero at the same time, sabi ng banal kasulatan, evil company corrupts good manner. So hindi pala lahat ng kaibigan ay ayos. In fact, <clears throat> You remember I was in another church last Sunday when you were all here. Ay, naintindihan naman natin. Sober naman lakas talaga ng bagyo. Basta ang nagagalak ako na lamang kung nandito yung mga may sakit. Yung may mga sakit, nandito. Salamat sa Panginoon. Ano? Hindi napigil nung bagyo yung may mga sakit. Sabi nga nung anak ko, nakakatuwa naman po. Mas malakas pang umawit yung may sakit. Hindi kaya kailangan natin lahat ng may sakit. Ano? Hindi kaya lahat tayo kailangan magkasakit. Hindi naman nawa. Hindi naman nawa. But, you know, I was, I was, I was conversing with uh, a balik bayan. She came from... Uh, She was visiting from the U.S. Sabi niya, Pastor, apakalungkot po, because I knew her before. So sabi niya, Pastor, nalungkot po na nangyari sa bunso ko. Bakit po? Kasi po, alam naman ninyo, nasa uh, Estados Unidos ako at naiwan ko yung aking bunso dito, my youngest. She only has two uh, sons. One is already working in Singapore and then the other one is still studying here. So sabi niya, na-influence po sa school ng mga skeptics and atheists. And now he is entertaining atheistic thoughts. Sabi niya, lungkot po. Malungkot talaga yun. Malungkot talaga, that's why. And uh, it is very important for us parents to know you know, who your son or your daughter's uh, friends are. You should know them. Dahil isa sa pinakamalaking kalungkutan para sa atin. Ayang lumayo sila sa pananampalataya. Sabi nitong ating kapatid na ito, sabi niya, mamamatay po ako. Ang lungkot-lungkot niya. Well, pwede rin sabihin, kasi, Where were you? Ay, pwede mo rin sabihin nyo, pero tapos na yon. wag na tayong magsisisihan. We need to pray. Yes, eh. So, mahalaga ang pagkakaroon ng kaibigan at maayos at matinong kaibigan. Minsan ay sinabi ng 19th century English professor in literature na si John Church, Church and Collins, in prosperity, in light of what we have just read, In prosperity, our friends know us. In adversity, we know our friends. 
totoo naman, di ba? Sa maraming pagkakataon, napapatunayan ang totoo po ito. Kaya ang pinakamabilis na paraan, the fastest way for us to know who your true friends are is for you to declare, I am broke. Tala kong pera. I am in great need. Yun ang pinakamabilis na parang para malaman kung ang isang tao ay tunay mong kaibigan. Sabihin mo, simut ka na. Wala ka nang kaya. May malaki kang pangangailangan. Bakit? Sa ang tunay na kaibigan nagmamahal sa lahat ng panahon. Because only true friends love at all times. Amen? That's what Proverbs chapter 17 verse 17 says blessed are you kung makatagpo ka ng kaibigan blessed are you if your friends are not fair weather ones that your friends would be there in good times sabi nga noong 1980s song keep smiling keep shining Knowing you can always count on me. For sure. That's what friends are for. For good times and bad times. I'll be on your side forevermore. That's what friends are for. Proverbs 20 verse 6. In the New Living Translation. Many will say they are loyal friends, but who can find one who is truly reliable? In the easy to read version, you might call many people your friends, but it is hard to find someone who can really be trusted. Hindi sapagkat daan-daan ang mga friends mo sa Facebook, nangangahulugan na ito, na daan-daan din ang tunay at maaasahan mong kaibigan, lalo na sa panahon ng iyong pangangailangan. Not because you have hundreds of Facebook friends, that means that you have hundreds of true and reliable friends. Friends that you could run to when you are in great need. Oh, mga kapatid. In fact, I think most of them would appreciate it if you don't bother them. Amen? Kung meron kang kailangan kidney. Facebook friend mo lang ako. Bakit naman gusto mo akong maging donor? Napatunayan mo na na hindi lahat ng mga nagla-like sa'yo, hindi lahat ng nag kiklik noong heart, hindi lahat ng nagsesend sa'yo ng magagandang mga messages, tunay mong kaibigan. Hindi sa ganong paraan sila nakikilala. Now in light of that, let us try to go through the passage that uh, our text who were Job's friends pinakilala dito let's go back to Job chapter 2 verse 11 now when Job's three friends heard of all this that was come upon him they came everyone from his own place and mind you there was no cell phone. There was no internet. I mean, paano kaya yung communication nila? But they went out of their way to uh, communicate with one another how they could uh, come and visit their friend. They came everyone from his own place, Eliphaz, the Temanite, Bildad, the Shuhite, and so far, so good, the Namanite. I mean, you know, kung ikaw ay buntes, 
I know, these are the most wonderful names that you could choose from. Amen? Kamusta? Uh, Anong pangalan ng anak mo? So far, so good. I know. <laughs> I do not want to spend much time in trying to uh, trace, trace back who these uh, uh, friends are. <clears throat> Pero batay doon sa ating pag-aaral, most probably itong mga kaibigan ni Job were learned men, they were wealthy, and they were influential during their time. As Job was, di ba? Marurunong itong mga taong ito. May kaya sila. Influential sila. So yun lang ang pwede nating gustong kuhanin mula doon. Now how did they react to his pitiful condition? To Job's pitiful condition? Let us go back to Job chapter 2. Verses 12 and 13, And when they lifted up their eyes afar off and knew him not, they lifted up their voice and wept. They rent everyone his mantle and sprinkled dust upon their heads toward heaven. So they sat down with him upon the ground seven days and seven nights, and none sp spake a word unto him, for they saw that his grief was very great. And knew him not. It doesn't mean that they uh, failed to recognize who Job was. What it means is that they cannot believe what happened to him. Again, you must remember Maalala natin, nandoon siya sa basurahan. Inalis na ang lahat sa kanya, may sugat siya sa buo niyang katawan. Oozing wounds. Painful wounds. He had fever most of the time. He experienced nausea most of the time. Yun yung kanyang kalagayan, yung kanyang damit. He had uh, tattered clothing, dirty. Yung kanyang beard, ay entangled. Ang dumi-dumi niya, ang walang ligo. He was so discouraged, most probably he do not want to wake up anymore from his sleep. Ayoko na. He forgot how to live. Kalimutan niya na kung paano mabuhay. At nung makita siya ng kanyang mga kaibigan, nagdalang awa sila sa kanya. It cannot be. That's impossible. How can this man be the same one we last saw? Now from this, alam nyo, minsan eh, uh, unfairly judge yung mga kaibigan ni Job. And deservedly so because, uh, you know, because of their unfair judgment to Job. Pero, gusto rin nating makita na meron ding mabubuti silang ipinakita e, kay Job. And that's we would want to focus to this morning. Uh, sa isang linggo na natin sila <laughs> uh, pag-aralan ng maigi. Sa ngayon, let us learn from their examples. Number one, they identified with his sorrow. <clears throat> Basahin po natin. Sabi, again, and when they lifted up, verse 12, 
their eyes afar off, and knew him not, they lifted up their voice and wept. You would not cry alone. You would not weep alone. We shall weep. We shall cry with you. Sabi nga no mga kabataan, feel kita. Nararamdaman ko ang dinadaanan mo. And they rent everyone is monster. If it's true that these uh, friends are wealthy, so yung wealthy apparel, costly apparel, yung kanila sold, but they did not mind. They rent it. Parang yung expensive mong sapatos ay sunugin mo. Amen? At yung bag mo na mamahalin ay itapon mo. <clears throat> May sasalo. Huwag kayong mag-alala. <laughs> Dahil you are entering in for your friend. You are no longer conscious of what you could sacrifice in the process. Sabi nila, kung, kung ang damit mo ay sira-sira, kung ikaw ay marumi, sisirain din namin ang aming damit para lang maramdaman mo, hindi ka nag -iisa. You are not alone. Nandito kami. Oh, mga kapatid, ganun ba tayo sa ating mga itinuturing na mga kaibigan? Ganun ba tayo sa ating mga itinuturing na mahalaga sa atin? They identified with his sorrow And then they also joined in his grief. They came. You remember? They communicated with one another and they actually came. Uh, yung iba na sa satisfy na, na mag-text, you know, praying for you, praying already, prayed already. I mean, ano yun? Nung sinasabi mo yun, nanunood ka ng itbulaga eh. Prayed already. Madali. Sabi nga, talk is cheap. Higit pa doon ang kailangang maramdaman ng isa't isa sa atin. Kailangan nila ng warm body. Kailangan nila ng warm embrace. They came for what? They came to mourn with him. They came to sympathize with him. Di naman nila kung ano ang nararamdaman ni Hope. Oh, Joe was no longer crying alone hindi na siya nag-iisa na umiiyak. Nadama niya, may mga kaibigan siya na nanggaling sa malalayong lugar na umalis sa kanilang comfort zone at sinadya sila. That's what friends are for. That's what brethren are for. Yan ang ibig sabihin ng pagkaka- Patiran. Oh, I appreciate all of our brethren. Uh, specifically, kapatid na Alex, si kapatid na Marwin, na isang tawag lang, dahil kailangang mag uh, bigay ng dugo, he came. I mean, he was already tired. tired. We had uh, an activity in the morning, but when he learned that Sister Susan's father need help, He came. Preacher Joel came even earlier than that. Sister Rowena, so on and so forth. Brother Andy, so on and so forth. They comfort him. Yung, yung idea ng comfort doon, 
Uh, ang one good example of that would be Isaiah 66 verse, verse 13 kung saan parang ang, 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 ang connotation is motherly care. E, di ba ang nanay inaalam niya kung anong need? Amen? That's what mothers do. They discern. They are, they are, they are sensitive to what their children need. I will cook for you. I will do laundry for you. I would sacrifice my time. I would sacrifice even my food. Amen. Salute to the mothers. I salute my wife. It did not come from me. My children would call her virtuous woman. And I agree. And salute to all of virtuous women here. Yun yung idea. Kung meron kang kapatid na nasa pang, when, when you have a brother who is in need, you, you, you get out of your way and try to find out and try to discern what does he need. At sa maraming pagkakataon, hindi palaging pera. Sometimes, we, we, we pay our way out of an obligation. Oh, here is 100. Uh, God bless. No! Sometimes it's your presence that is needed. Ano sabi ng James chapter 2 verse 16? Let's go there for a while. Very quickly, James chapter 2. And one, when, and, and one of you, or oh, verse, uh, let, let, let me begin with, uh, uh, begin in uh, uh, verse 15. If a brother or sister uh, be naked and destitute of daily food, and one of you say unto them, depart in peace, be ye warm and filled, prayed for you, <laughs> praying for you. Remembering you always, you know, heart, heart. Not that they are wrong. I'm not saying that they are wrong, you know. Especially, kung talaga namang inten intention mong gagawin yun. Pinag-uusapan natin ay mas malalim pa doon. Asabi, let's, uh, sabi dito. Uh, again, Verse 16, And one of you say unto them, Depart in peace, be ye warm and filled, notwithstanding ye give them not those things which are needful to the body. What that it profit? Anong paginabang nun? We are, again, we are to bear one another's burden. And if you do not feel the burden, then you are not bearing. Kung hindi mo nararamdaman yung bigat, kung hindi ka nakakaramdam noong pagsasakripisyo, hindi ka bumubuhat, you are not carrying your brother's burden. If you do not feel uh, the weight, of his circumstance. They came to mourn with him and they came to comfort him. To comfort him. Thirdly, they showed respect for his grief. They did not wait for an invitation. When was the last time that you went uh, to a funeral? Did you receive an invitation before you go? Ah, I won't go. Wala naman invitation. Mga kapatid, ginagawa mo ang lahat kung may namatay. Ginagawa mo ang lahat, kinakansil mo ang mga schedule mo dahil gusto mong makiramay. 
Gusto mong maramdaman ng namatayan na nandung ka. Hindi ka naghihintay na magsasabi, you, know, you are invited. <laughs> Goodness. You want to pay respect. You want to, to deliver the message. You, I value you. You are important to me. Mahalaga yung time. Amen? I told you, I, I really care for you, but I don't have time eh. Ko naman. May time ka kung talaga nagmamahal ka. Amen? Ah, oh, I'm telling you, pagka si Brother Dennis ay in love, kahit na taga Sambuanga, yung minamahal niya, pupuntahan niya yun dahil nagmamahal siya. Wala nang maraming excuses. Number four, they also showed, they also, uh, I'm sorry, they also allowed him to speak first. For seven days and seven, seven nights, they were silent. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. That's all. You know? You need embrace? Okay. More soup. More soup. More McDonald's. More Jollibee. If you need to eat, eat. We don't have to, you don't have to speak. You don't have to talk. At minsan yun ang kailangan. Warren Wiersbe once said, the best way to help people who are hurting is to just show up. Say little or say nothing. Do not try to explain everything. <clears throat> Do not all of a sudden be an amateur theologian. You know, I know it all theologian. You know what? Uh, maybe this is where you are wrong. Means and we are quick to highlight the reason why you are going through such a tough time is because you are wrong. Here. Doon tayo mabilis. Yung paghahanap ng dahilan, kasi naman eh. Kasi naman eh. Mga kapatid, yun ang huli mong gustong marinig kung ikaw ay nagdadaan sa isang circumstance. I told you, go and see a doctor. You did not do it. <gasps> Sabihin na natin na gayon, pero yun ang huli niyang gustong marinig mula sa iyo. Now, what can we learn from this? What are some applications that we could remember and apply? <clears throat> Number one, we must reject the view that quoting scripture will eliminate sorrow. Amen? Misa yun ang Gustong gusto natin ginagawa eh. Ang bigat-bigat ng dinadaanan. Brother, all things work together for good. Not that it is wrong. It is the Word of God. The Bible, the Word of God, has an answer for every situation and for every circumstance. There's no doubt about it. There's no question about it. Pero, the very same Word of God, the very same Bible reminds us that to everything there is a season and a time for every purpose under heaven. Ano sabi ng Proverbs 25 verse 11? Proverbs 25 verse 11. A 
A word fitly spoken is like apples of gold in pictures of silver. Amen? Meron tamang panahon. Meron tamang panahon para magsalita. Meron tamang panahon para magbigay ng talata. Alala ko na naman nyo. Yung namatayan, nakiramay ka. Tapos yung namatayan, sinabihan mo, handa ka na rin bang mamatay? <laughs> It is appointed unto man once to die. After this, the judgment, are you ready? Leave that to the preacher, okay? After all, there would, there would be a service a bit later. You don't have. <laughs> Kung pumunta doon para makiramay, hindi mo na kinakala sabihin yun. The Word of God, Bible verses are not ban aids. Okay? Meron tayong idea ano, na bawal ka umiyak, bawal kang, bawal kang malungkot. Why? All things work together for good, good, good. Don't cry. Don't fear. Bawal umiyak. Bawal matakot. Bawal umihi dito. You don't understand human nature. You don't understand humanness. If you are sad, if you are broken, I'm telling you, uh, you want to cry. Maybe you have forgotten there is such a passage as Jesus wept. Sa isang wake na pinuntahan namin, sabi noong mismong namatayan, she reminded us, yes, my husband is dead, but I don't want any one of you to cry because we have peace. We have hope. You can hope in a godly manner and cry at the same time you can uh, be uh, you can trust God and mourn at the same time Jesus wept walang problema doon amen wag mong gawing paracetamol yung talata ano si si ito lang ano basahin mo lang si basahin mo lang ano sabi dyan? Yeah. Also, resist the view that you must speak in order to express your love. Minsan, ang pinakamainam na gagawin mo ay one, two, three, zip! And just make your brother or your sister know that you are there. Ano dito lang ako? Pagkaredy ka na magsalita, sige. Yung context ng Jesus Jesus web, John eleven thirty five. Ano sabi ng thirty six? Umiyak lang panginoon, walas ang sinasabi. Pero sabi ng John chapter eleven and the verses thirty six. Thirty-five. Jesus wept. Thirty-six. Then said the Jews, "Behold, how he loved him." Amen. Hindi nagsalita. He did not. Jesus Christ did not utter a word. The, but the people around them sense that indeed he loved 
Lazarus. Bayaan mong maramdaman ng kapatid mo, ng kaibigan mo, <clears throat> na mahal natin sila, hindi sa maraming pagsasalita, kundi sa pamagitan ng ating presensya. It takes time for a physical wound to heal. It also takes time for an internal wound to heal. Minsan kailangan mo ng panahon. Kailangan mo ng quiet time. Minsan kailangan mo mag-isip-isip. Not that you do not do not believe the holy scriptures, but sometimes what you need is a time alone with your God. And just to know that there is a brother there ready to prepare the coffee whenever you need it. Amen? Oh, praise be to God. Blessed are we, brethren. Blessed are you if the Lord is pleased to give you true friends. However, no human friend no matter how he sincere he may be, can promise you what only our Lord Jesus Christ can. I will never, 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 ever. That's the Greek. You know? The emphasis. I will never leave you nor forsake you. Only the Lord Jesus Christ could promise you this. Keep smiling. Keep shining. Knowing you can always count on me. Only the infinitely wise and infinitely powerful could promise that. And able to fulfill it. Knowing you can always count on me for sure. For that, that's what friends are for. For good times and bad times, I'll be on your side forevermore. Only Jesus Christ could promise you that. Forevermore. And that's what friends are for. If He, if God be for us, who can be against us. He that spared not his own son, but delivered him up for us all, how can he not also with him freely give us all things? Greater love hath no man than this, that a man give up his life for his friend. Meron kang kaibigan kapatid, pagkainiwanan ka na ng lahat. Hindi ka iiwanan, hindi ka pababayaan. Ang pangalan niya ay si Jesus Cristo. Do you know Him? Do you already have a relationship with Him? Come to Him. Come to Him even right now. Let's all stand up. <clears throat>